one morning we will wake up and find that we are in a very different world. There's angst out there, and I think if you talk to people on the street today, they would tell you, I don't know what's causing all this, but this just doesn't feel normal to me. What's happening has happened many, many times in the past, except this time it's simultaneous all across the planet. In 2009 and 2010, what happened was the crisis was papered over through bailouts, guarantees, money printing. But in the long run, none of the problems were solved. By creating money out of nothing and flooding it into the economy, they're not really solving the problem. What they're doing is pushing it off a little bit into the future and making it worse. Do we keep going down this road? Do we print more money? This is where people could lose faith entirely in the currency and the currency could collapse. I think you're gonna see a very rapid decline in the value of the dollar in a matter of days. There have been dozens and dozens of currency collapses since the end of the Second World War, and they all result from the same thing, bad policies, bad management. A lot of people have been buying the dollar as a safe haven. Well, what if the fear trade is afraid of the dollar. They have to continue expanding the money supply, otherwise the system is going to die. Politicians talk about paying down the debt. You can't do that without collapsing the entire economy. All the politicians are in a situation where if they don't come to the rescue, we could just have an overnight shutdown. So there's always this wish to kick the can down the road. But the problem is we've run out of road. There is no place to kick the can anymore. We've got to deal with the can.